Push! The hitters Push! just give up on it. Hello, CCS Nation. T Mac here. And this Ask the Youthful is brought to you by Out West Officials. So we've got a very interesting play from Philly. The Cardinals are in town. It's Sunday night baseball. It's a 3-2 count, and the pitch is grounded to the first baseman, signaled fair by David Rackley. Goldschmidt touches first base, but hold on, wait a second. Let's take a look at the home plate umpire, Larry Vanover, as we go back to the future. We can see very clearly that Vanover signals a delayed foul ball because he reads Herrera not running towards first and says foul ball and we now have a situation on our hands so what do we do in this we get the crew together what would we have on this play we would have an out 100 percent of the time i love this get together And I love the fact that they come out with an out call as a result because in the spirit of the game and doing what's right in common sense and fair play, this should be a fair ball. This should be an out. And in the replay generation, we have to get the call right. We have to do what's in the best interest of baseball. So you guys have asked us, well, how is this a a legal play? Once the foul ball is foul, it has to be foul. Well, under what rule? You know, Herrera doesn't run initially out of the box, but he doesn't run not because he the ball went off his foot. He's not exactly hopping around. I think that's what Vanover thought. He doesn't run because he thinks the ball is foul. He's making a very bad base running decision, and we can see that clearly from the high third base camera. The ball completely misses his foot. It is close. There is no doubt about it. It's within a foot, but... Herrera thinks the ball's going foul, and that's why he didn't run. He's wasn't hit. And eventually he'll be told he's got to go back to the dugout. Now, want to talk a little bit about the aftermath and Rob Thompson, who's the interim manager of the Phillies. We can tell you that Joe Girardi would have been ejected on this play because his comportment is his comportment. But Thompson's much more calm and composed in this situation and the perfect guy to talk to is Larry Vanover he's one of the best at handling a complicated matter so Vanover gets the call right and he knows he's got the call right because his crew of Sean Barber David Rackley and Ryan Wills have all told him that uh, the ball didn't hit Herrera so he lets Thompson vent here and they have a long conversation and this is the outcome But you're not going to want to shoo the guy to the dugout. You're going to want to let him yell and point and do some of this stuff because this is unusual play. In unusual circumstances at the professional level, you have to let guys vent. You can't umpire in a vacuum all the time. And Vanover handles this brilliantly. That's what we're going with. We'll let you read the lips at home. And now what I really enjoy about this as well is how Vanover handles Herrera. He's like, you got to go, pal. It looks like Larry doesn't want his lips read, so he puts his hand to his mouth. At some point, John Boy is going to get to this one. It's anything interesting being said. And since I'm not Lindsay and I don't know how to read lips, that's what we're going with. We'll let you read the lips at home. Most umpires had this situation and you don't have a reasonable manager, he's going. But if you get lucky sometimes and you got a guy that you've known for a while and you respect him and he respects you, you get a cordial outcome. Really well handled by the manager, well handled by Herrera, and especially well handled by this umpiring crew to get the call right. Like the video and subscribe to us here on Close Call Sports. And if you want to get social, do so on Twitter and Facebook at Close Call Sports. Until next time, happy umpiring, everyone.